Hey, social media class, just wanted to come to you with a real short video today to keep in contact, but also to talk a little bit about your conversation assignments and to give you a little bit more direction for your video assignments. I've received quite a few questions about that through email. First off, though, I really enjoyed reading through your conversation assignments. I think you guys chose some really interesting topics. A lot of simu similarity, which I was kind of surprised with. But I guess in a quarantine, you know, what can you really do? Well, we know now because so many of you did that as your conversation. So we heard from a lot of people about the things that they're doing in their quarantine time, which is great. Uh, a lot of YouTube focused on podcasts, which was a really good connection to the client. And then I know like really that a couple of you focused on like the positive news that Dimple Times is sharing and WOUB are sharing and how people can connect with that and support local news at this time. So that was really good, really great ideas. I know it was a bit of a challenge to try to connect these assignments with your clients. I want to clarify that for the video assignment too, but I think you guys did a good job of, you know, did the best you could really with doing that and succeeding at the assignment. A couple of key points I wanted to make, though, about the assignments and about just social media practice in general. First off, your strategy needs to be more than just having a conversation. I saw that in a lot of your posts. You know, you just wanted to engage people where there needs to be a purpose for it. You know, are you supporting local news because you want to support the business? Or are you trying to establish yourself as the top in this brand or the top in this field? You know, if you're gathering responses from people about what they're doing, maybe you want to be seen as, hey, I'm a source that you can go to for something that you can do to pass the time during the quarantine. So make sure your, your strategies are very specific to what you're trying to do. That also holds true with the audience as well. Try to make your audience as specific as possible too. Too many of you had your audience basically as who your audience is right now. You know, I'm young. My audience on social is young people, so I'm going to make my audience young people. The goal of this assignment, actually, and the goal of any kind of interactive conversation is to build your audience, to connect to new audiences. So that's one reason why I really encourage you to try to find an influencer, maybe someone outside of your current audience who can talk knowledgeably about the question that you're asking and bring in his or her followers to what you're doing to expand your audience. It's also really good to think of that specific core demographic, you know, just like in the assignment that we did in class, that will spread your message for you so you can really build out and get more of an audience than just who's already following you. One of the other things, too, that I wanted to talk about um, is what to do with your replies. Sorry, just checking my notes there. Some of you did a really good job of this. Um, well, let me say this. Everybody did a really good job of replying to, their, to the, the comments that they got, and I appreciated that. Now let's think though a little bit more about what to do with those replies. It's not enough just to like agree with people or to thank people. Use that as an opportunity to engage them in more conversation. Ask them more about why they replied the way they did. Like one of the things I saw really frequently was people talked about, oh, I'm watching movies or I'm reading books. It was really a good idea to ask them, oh, what books or what movies are you watching? And get that conversation going. Remember, a true interactive conversation goes beyond just replies and refers back to previous conversations that you might have had. Finally, um, only one of you used Wakelet, which is okay. You know, this is something that I use a lot of my classes because it's a great way to pull social posts together. And you could have pulled your whole assignment in together, but the screenshots worked. Um, but I, I want that on your radar, though, if you're working for a client later on and you're really thinking about what's a way that I can pull a lot of social media stuff together. Um, so try that out. Uh, one other thing I wanted to say, too, is I like to see that you guys were interacting and helping with each other's on this assignment. And we got to give Fisky uh, on Twitter, I know that's Marcus, um, give him some credit because I saw his posts more often on anybody's posts. So thanks, Marcus, for really helping everybody out. Okay, now to talk really briefly about your video assignment. Um, one question that I'm getting a lot has to do with how to involve your clients. You know, a lot of us are in a situation where we're stuck at home. We can't really go out and interview people. We don't know people we can interview on the phone. Um, and especially not if we have to relate that to our clients. So let's just throw that out there, okay? Don't worry about relating them to your clients. Do the video that you can. Just make a great social video that will fit with your personal brand and what you're trying to do on social media. And don't necessarily worry about connecting it to the client. Okay. If you have any other questions about that, please email me. I've been really 
trying to be really good at checking and replying to emails as soon as I get them. Um, I talked to somebody last night, like at 11.30, because I was actually up playing video games. But yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm um, looking forward to seeing a lot of you tomorrow for our chat with Nolan Walker. Um, he's responded to me. He's ready to go. Uh, so that's 1030 tomorrow. You should have received the Zoom invite. If you didn't, let me know and I can send it to you again. Or you can see it on our Blackboard page under the announcements section. All right, that's all I have. Thanks for watching this video and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Bye.